Hi, Pebbles. Hi, Mike. Where'd you come from? What? Hey, Pebbles, come here. See you later, Delilah. So where'd you come from, Delilah? I've never seen you around here before. If I had, I'd remember. Oh, and I'd remember you, too. But I'm not from around here. I'm visiting Pebbles. Visiting, huh? <clears throat> then we can skip the formalities and get down to business. I'm not sure I know what you mean. Why don't you join the party? Oh, it's nice to feel wanted. There's a vacancy. There sure is. Right between your ears. What's happening? You know that girl? Never seen her before, unfortunately. Chick just ruined a perfect score. I intend to find out why. How do you do it? Huh? Do what? Well, it's your first day here, and already Mike Sampson is interested. You mean the boy who just spoke to me? Yeah. Come on. How do you rate? Oh, I don't know. I guess I was just born unlucky. Unlucky? Oh, I wish I was that unlucky. Mike's the greatest. Well, I think he's conceited, and he's got no right to be. Well, if you say that, you've got to be blind. No, Pebbles, but just because he's good-looking. And a great athlete. Yes, but it still doesn't give him the right to act as if he's irresistible. Isn't he? Well, not to me, he's not. Personally, I prefer a more modest, serious type boy. And he doesn't have to be an athlete. He can be uncoordinated for all I care. I just want him to be interested in something other than himself. Oh, I think you're too hard on Mike. You know, he's, uh, he's not as bad as you think. Well, she doesn't think very much of you, does she? Looks pretty hopeless. Woody, the trouble with you is you don't think positive. Okay, I'm positive it's hopeless. Pebbles ever mention her? Uh, let me think. Right. It calls for drastic measures. Of course. She said she had a friend who was going to spend the summer with her. Delilah. What a name. Well, her, it sounds pretty good. Well, from the way she was talking, I don't think you're her type. What do you mean? That's the kind of guy she wants. That's the kind of guy she's going to get. What are you talking about? I got a plan, Woody. Yeah? Yeah. Get out of there, Larry. Get out of there. I was so engrossed in what I was reading, I... Uh... Well, what are you reading? The complete works of Alexander Graham Bell. Really? How interesting. See you later, Delilah. Is that your name? Delilah? Delilah Dawes. And you are? I'm Herbert. You know, you look... Uh, you look an awful lot like somebody. But I can't recall who it is. Neither can I. Wait a minute. I, you look like that fellow, um, Mike Sampson. Oh, but of course you wouldn't know who he is. You two have absolutely nothing in common. Well, he's my brother. Really? Oh, wow, you two are nothing alike. I mean, well, He's so in love with himself. And you're so serious and polite. Delilah, if, if I'm not being too forward, you're, well, you're new around here, aren't you? Yes. May I have the honor of showing you some of the more exciting points of interest? 
You mean the things that really swing? Look at him swing. Well, this isn't exactly what I meant. I take it there are some things about my brother you, you don't like. Well, not exactly. There's just nothing about him that I do like. Oh, look at us. We're doing nothing except talking about Mike. Who cares about him? I'm much more interested in talking about you. Tell me about yourself. You don't want to hear about me. How about records? Do you like them? Sure. Wait till you see all the records. I can't wait. Uh, Herbert, why don't you tell me about yourself? Nothing to tell. Oh, I'll bet there is. You're just modest. Well, I'm majoring in science. But I, I like art, too. Especially the depiction of the human form. In sculpture? That probably sounds funny to you. Oh, no. I think a person should have, have lots of interests. I've got many others. Would you care to see them? from the bottom of my entire heart. Old dads, grummies, moon dogs, and independents, welcome to the dungeon. Now grab a seat and hold on to it because here is the toy.
Let's go to a movie tonight. Can't. Left my discount card at home. How about having dinner instead? Okay. Good. What time will you have it ready? Yes. Uh, Herbert, don't you like to dance? Well, I like to waltz. Well, don't you do any dances that are a bit, well, more modern? Well, I'm fond of the polka, especially when, when played by Lawrence Welk. Now, Mr. Dan. Just daddy, man. Oh, oh, yes, daddy. Now, like I was telling you on the phone, daddy, I'm working on the premier issue of a new magazine for these vital young people. And to reflect their enthusiasm, I'm going to call it Teen Scream. Teen Scream? You're not oh. serious, man. Maybe I should find a better title, uh, something with the excitement of uh, the Saturday Review of Surfing. Now, here's what I suggest, Daddy. I propose that we join forces and sponsor a race using some, some new item you want to promote, and I will feature it in my magazine. It'll be great publicity for you. Well, there's my line of custom skateboards. Then let's have a skateboard race. Yeah, why not? If it goes over, we could uh, have one using all of my gear. Cross-country type race. Right. And we could enter Mike, using all my stuff, of course. Competitions all over the country. Who? Mike Sampson, man, the cat that'll win. He always wins. Why, he'll be famous. Your name will be on the lips of everyone in the nation. They'll all be saying, Daddy. That's a gas. I'll go spread the word. Ah, no photographs, baby. Why not? Not without my shades, man. Gotta consider my image. Well, McSnig, I think we're in business. Remember, two years ago when I introduced Daddy's Custom Cars, and last year when I brought out Daddy's Custom Surfboards, well, this year I got another first. Daddy's Custom Skateboards. Hey, Daddy. The stuff's getting smaller every year. Yeah. Next year I'm bringing out custom toothpicks. <laughs> now, Dick, we're going to have a great competition, a skateboard race. And the winner's got a real surprise coming. Uh, I want you to meet Mr. Pulp here. Harvey to you. And he's with him. And Mr. Pulp is going to publish a magazine, especially for you, called, uh, well, he'll think of a title. So I uh, told him to feel free to circulate and make himself at home. All right. I'm taking orders in the shop. Herbert, have you ever been on a skateboard? Oh, no. I, I'm very uncoordinated. I, I'd probably fall off. Oh. I think I'm going to learn how to use one. Hmm? Well, in that case, maybe I can help you. You know, there are certain elementary principles involved that are really rather simple. There's Newton's first law of motion. Where for every action, there's a reaction. And there's Einstein's theory of... Oh, of... Herbert, would you? Would you help me? Sure. Oh, I'd be more than grateful. May I be of some little service? Yes, I'd like to buy a skateboard. Groovy. What color? Oh. How about fuchsia? I doubt if he'd have that. Fuchsia number one, fuchsia number two, or fuchsia number three. Also known as groovy grape. I'll take that one.
getting to be a regular ballet dancer on that. Very good. Oh, Herbert, do you really think so? How good? Well, uh, I don't know. Well, good enough for me to enter the race tomorrow? I don't see why not. Herbert, you, you know, you've really been a help to me. So I want you to be the first to know what I'm going to do. What's that? Well, ever since I met that brother of yours, I've wanted to show him up. Then when I heard about the race, well... You mean you want to race Mike? That's right. And if I'm half as good as you say I am, well, then I stand a chance of beating him. You don't want to do that. Well, I most certainly do. Mm, I know for a fact you couldn't. Well, Herbert, whose side are you on? Well, for one thing, I, I happen to know that uh, you're wasting your time. He won't even be in the race. Oh, oh, yes, he will. Because I'm going down right now and find him and challenge him, Danner. And if you're any kind of a friend, then you'll go with me. I can't. Herbert, what are you talking about? I mean, I couldn't possibly face Mike at a time like this. Because... Because why? Because we're the same flesh and blood. Herbert, please. I need you there. You? All right. But I'll be late. I have to go somewhere first. I have to see somebody. Well, just get there in time to hear me challenge him. That's all I ask. for someone? What? You sure this is the place you want? Woody, it's me, Mike. Yeah, I, I didn't recognize you, man. Wow, you sure look funny. Well, I never accept a compliment I can't return. So do you. Yeah? Listen, Woody, Delilah's looking for me. I need you there when she finds me. Well, what do you want me to do? I don't have time to explain now. You'll understand when she comes. I'll see you on the beach in a couple of minutes, huh? 
I don't understand already. One at a time, girls. Well, well, well. If it isn't the Pink Panther, you're just in time for some wrestling lessons. Oh, and who's to be my teacher? Yours truly. Well, in that case, I think I'll drop the course. But if you're really interested in fun and games, I've got a better idea. How about you and I entering the contest that Daddy's sponsoring? You and me in a real race. <laughs> you must be kidding. You wouldn't stand a chance. I'll take that risk. Come on, kid. You're carrying this too far. I'm beginning to think you're afraid to enter. Mike afraid? Are you kidding? Mike's great at anything he does, even on a skateboard. Isn't that right? Well, then why won't he accept? Well, who says he won't? I accept for him. Look at that mixtape. Hope Magazine. There's something I don't like about the way that reads. I can't understand what's happened to Herbert. I haven't seen him in ages. It sounds like you miss him. I think I do. Herbert! Where have you been? One minute to starting time. I don't have time to explain now. I just wanted to wish you luck. I'll see you after the race. Contestants report to the starting line. Good luck. All right, now here's your route. You're now here. You must end up here. You can get there any way you like, just so long as you're on your board. Are you ready? On your mark, get set.
Now are you convinced? What, that you're the greatest? No. Oh, here we go again. Hey, look, uh, before this turns into the Hundred Years' War, let's meet at the dungeon for a peace conference. The Hundred Years' War? Where'd you ever learn about that? I'm a math major. Where's Herbert? I don't know. I haven't seen him since the race began. Why does he disappear like this? Next time I see him, I'm going to find out. Great Polaroids, man. Hey, that's me. <laughs> Say, you know that Mike Sampson is a winner. Wait till you see him in the cross-country race. Which reminds me, we got to talk to him. Later. Duty calls. Introducing the animals. <laughs> Part of the city where the sun refused to shine. People tell me it ain't no use in trying. My little girl, you're so young and pretty, and one thing I know is true. what's bothering me. I've got something in mind to settle that score. What's bothering me now is Herbert. Uh, uh, pardon me, miss. Which are you? A hoedat or a grimmie? I never discuss politics with strangers. Oh, hi, Mike. Hi, uh, Pebbles. Yeah, let's dance. Okay. 
Hi, Delilah. Just one dance. I do want to learn. Oh, well, all right, but just one. I'm waiting for somebody, and he's just got to be here somewhere. needs a partner. For you. How'd the race come out? Oh, I came in second. And Mike won. Gee, I'm sorry that. Well, second's better than nothing. Yeah, I guess so. But it's not first either. And I was ahead. I can't hear you. What? That's funny. I can hear you perfectly. Because I'm yelling. It's the, it's the orchestra. It's so loud. I... Well, um. Let's go someplace else quieter, then. Good idea. Where? Anywhere you say. Well, how about uh, my place? Well, I could come over later. Why? Herbert, there's something you forgot to tell me. What? Where do you live? Oh, it's easy to find my couch. I mean, uh, <laughs> my house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to be so late. Forget it. You know, somehow I, I never expected your place to look like this. It, it's not quite you. Well, most of this stuff is Mike's. I, I didn't know you lived together. He isn't here right now, is he? No, I gave him the night off. Uh, you said you wanted to talk to me alone. Yes, I do. Would you care for something to drink? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> you're in a good mood. That's because you're here. Oh, what a sweet thing to say. <laughs> um, Herbert, why have you been avoiding me? 
Avoiding you? Yes, you've broken your promise to meet me twice now. You're usually so considerate. What happened? Delilah, I'd like to tell you. But, you see, if I did, I'd be betraying a very important secret. Well, you could trust me. No, I couldn't. I mean, of course I could. But I can't. Because, you see, if I did... But you don't see, do you? Well, I'm trying, but it isn't very easy. Delilah, I promise one day you'll know. In fact, I promise that you'll be the first to know. But now I have a loyalty to someone who, who's extremely important to me. Do, do you understand? Yes. Yeah, I, I think I do. What a good friend you are. You know, Herbert, that's what I like about you. You're so loyal and, and so considerate of others. So modest and, and so shy. You know, you needn't be so shy. Can't help it. Perhaps I can help you overcome it. How? Herbert, look at me. I want to be your friend. You do? Yes. What's happening? thing, Woody. Not a thing. Hi, Woody. Delilah, what are you doing here? I'd like to ask you the same thing. Well, I live here. Don't you remember, Mike? Don't you remember that I'm not Mike? I'm Herbert. Don't confuse me with my brother. Oh, yeah. You're Herbert. He's always mixing us up. Yeah. I'm always mixing them up. Woody, why don't you go out and have some dinner? I already have. What about Pebbles? Why don't you go visit her? She must be lonesome. Oh, she's not home. Oh, well, there's nothing else to do, so I guess I'll just hang around here tonight. I know. Let's go for a drive. Okay. Hey, that's a good idea. I'll change my shirt and be right with you. Bones. The bones are, I think, hidden. We are here! 
Show yourself! Talk to you alone. Sure. You know, we never did get to finish that conversation we were having. No. I I, I could take Woody and, and drop him, and and then just the two of us could go someplace quiet and and, and finish. Oh, Herbert, I, I don't think I'd better. It's getting awfully late, and well, it can wait until tomorrow. But I can't. I mean, I never bared my soul to anyone like you tonight. And now that you know my problem, I, I was hoping you could help me. Oh, oh of course I will, Herbert. Uh, look, you, you know, all of us are basically shy, so you don't have to feel like you're different or anything. You know, you've been a big help to me, too. We'll help each other, right? Right. Well, good night, Herbert. Good night. That's the best time I've had in ages. What are we going to do tomorrow? I've got to make some plans. Yeah? What for? Your murder. What did I do? see me? Yeah, uh, first I want to listen to the castaways and audition this new dancer. Okay, cats, go. Keep on winning. 
We're going to enter you in races all over the land. Travel, fame, and fortune will be yours. Do my best. That chick. Yeah, ain't she a drag? A drag? It's unique. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Everybody likes a pretty girl. That's showbiz. We gotta have her. You gotta keep her interested. All right. Good luck, son. Arv, there's trouble brewing between him and that chick. And whatever we can do to keep it going, you dig? I dig. <laughs> <laughs> so interesting. You never look at me like that. Those french fries. I'm hungry. Hmm. I should have known. I'm gonna get something to eat. You want anything? Yeah, Delilah. Oh, no thanks. You, uh, you have a good time with Herbie last night? Oh, yes. He's very special. Yeah, well, that's a good word for him. You know, you're beginning to sound serious. Are you, uh, are you falling in love with him or something? I don't know. Yeah, maybe I am. You know, that's funny. I, I thought a girl like you would, would go for a guy who's more, you know, in on things. Pebbles, you think that Herbert's a square, don't you? Well, to be honest, yes. Look, he's just bashful. All I have to do is give him some encouragement. <laughs> encouragement? What that guy needs is a cheering section. <laughs> oh, back so soon? Yeah, here, hold this, will you? Let's toss to see who pays. What? But, Woody, you asked me if I wanted anything. Well, this time, Woody, you've just gone too far. When you ask me to go out to dinner and I get all dressed up, and then you take me to Schnitzel's hot dog stand, I don't say anything, huh? And then when you ask me to go to the movies and we end up watching them on my TV set, I let it pass, right? But when you ask me to toss to see who pays, oh! <laughs> Hmm, pretty good. Uh, Woody, I think you better do something. I guess you're right. too busy maybe we could finish that conversation sure happy to uh, uh may i say you know you, you look very pretty today oh thank you you know herbert i i think you're losing some of your shyness already if i tried to kiss you would you yell for help would you need help oh uh which reminds me i'm going to need your help got it what can i do well Mike thinks he's really put me down just because he won that race yesterday. But I'm not licked yet. In fact, I'm just getting started. Look, he can't be tops in every sport, can he? Tell me, what do you know about him?
Excuse me. Allow me. Uh, wait. I'm getting tired of all these easy wins. Now, why don't you be a nice girl and give up? It's cracks like that that make me want to keep on trying. Well, don't you get tired of losing? No. You know, actually, you're not too bad. It's just that you're not as good as me. Delilah? Yeah? You put up a real good fight. Oh, thank you, Rick. You haven't seen Herbert, have you? Herbert? Who's Herbert? Oh, well, maybe Mike knows. Give him this. He must have left it here. Okay. today for the same reason you couldn't make it the first time I raced. That's right. Uh -huh. I thought so. Tell me. Did you win? Oh. oh, that's right. You don't know, do you? That's right. I wasn't there, remember? <laughs> yes. Yes, I remember. Uh, no, I I'm afraid I didn't win. Oh, I'm sorry. Well... Instead of going to all this trouble to beat Mike, I'm sure I could think of many more interesting things for us to do. Yes, I'll bet you could. But where's your spirit, Herbert? Why, at least your uh, brother has that. Or well, maybe a little bit misguided, but all the same, he fights back. That's right. He never gives up. Mm -hmm. And neither do I. In fact, right now, I'm going over to the dungeon and sign up for the cross-country race that Daddy's sponsoring. Oh, no. Oh, why, Herbert, is that any attitude to take? Why, just think of all the fun we'll have getting me into condition. I guess so. Oh, well, uh, I have to talk to you so that we can uh, plot strategy. Why don't we meet somewhere where we can be alone? How about your house? Great idea. I'll tell you everything I know about cross-country racing. And I'll tell you everything I know, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's going on here? Excuse me, chicks. Keep your voice down. I don't want them to hear you. Why not? They're friends of mine. Yeah? Well, as of now, we share them. Who says so? They do. You know, they, uh, they don't get to see too much of Mike anymore. Herbert's been awful busy coaching girl athletes. Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, that's breaks. You're not bugged? Congratulations, old man, on your new responsibilities. 
What do you mean, responsibilities? You'll find out. Hey, by the way, uh, what about Pebbles? How's she gonna feel about this? She won't even talk to me. She says I'm a miser. No kidding. Look, now that the girls are yours, do me a favor, will you? Will you clear out just for a while? How come you gave them up so easy? Well, I didn't. They gave me up. But, you know, Delilah's enough for me now. You mean you're, you're not trying to get back at her anymore? You really go for her? I didn't mean for it to happen. It, it just did. Cutting your own trap, huh? Yeah. I want out. I wanted to know the real me, but how? Tell her the truth. I never thought of that. You know, that's a very intelligent suggestion. How come you thought of that? It's obvious. That's a very good idea. Tell her the truth. Goodbye, Herbert. At last I can be Mike. At last I can be me. Free! Yeah, yeah. I'm free. I'm free. 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 I'm free. Hi, Delilah. Did you come in? Thank you, uh, Herbert. Would you like to sit down? Oh, uh, yes, thank you. Uh, Delilah, I've got something very important to discuss with you. Uh, yes? It's about Mike. You see, he's... He's not really like what you think he is. You see, I, I know him, because he's my brother. And, and perhaps you should get to know him a little better yourself. It's no use, Herbert. Uh, look, you don't have to stick up for Mike just because he's your uh, brother. I mean, he wouldn't do the same for you, now would he? Oh, absolutely. I guarantee it. No. No, he wouldn't. And that's why I admire you so. You're generous, and he's selfish. You're considerate, and he's rude. When it comes to girls, you're modest and shy, and he's a, a conceited snake who'd use every dirty trick in the book to make a girl look like a fool. In other words, you're real, and he's a phony. Don't you see, Herbert, darling? You're the kind of boy that I've been looking for, waiting for, longing for. Oh, are you hurt, Herbert? Delilah, no, I'm trying to tell you something. Not now, Herbert, darling. Don't bother, Mike. Delilah, listen. No, no, you listen, Mike Sampson. No wonder sweet, lovable Herbert could never be there when I raced against you. Delilah! And that deep, dark secret that Herbert could never share with me? You'll be the first to know, Delilah. Oh! Delilah, it's not what you think. Oh, it isn't, huh? You're going to stand there and deny that you planned this whole masquerade to make me look like a fool? In the beginning, yes, I admit it. But that was before I got to know you. And I've gotten to know you, too. Oh, have I gotten to know you? Delilah, I am telling you the truth. Oh, oh, that's a laugh. Oh, that's hysterical. Listen, Mike, you may have won the battle, but I'm going to win the war. 
I'm going to beat you tomorrow so badly that everybody on the beach is going to know you're not the greatest. Mm, you'll get a race. You'll get a race. Remember, everything's fair in love and war, huh? Well, this is war. All right, here's your route. Any questions? When you get there, then where do you turn? What's the matter, man? Can't you read a map? OK, take your starting position. put us on the map, so to speak, eh, Daddy? Yeah. And if somebody don't stop taking my picture, I'm gonna wipe him off of the map, so to speak. Let's go.
just won a lifetime supply of daddy's decals, listing in glorious color all of my enterprises. And of course, the admiration of us all. So is Mick Snig. We're giving up the idea of doing a magazine for vital young people. Why? We're just not vital enough. Instead, we're going to publish one for senior citizens. Say, how do you like the senior surfer? Senior citizens. Senior citizens. Yeah. Whole new market for my enterprises. How do you like this for the older set, man? Surfboards with safety belts. What are you going to answer next? Oh, nothing. That's all over now. Why quit while you're ahead? I know what you mean, Delilah. When something is over, it's over. Oh, come on, you two. Get off each other's backs. I'm willing if she is. Well, if I do, Woody, you're going to have to get rid of them. I would? Well, sure, Woody. And think how much cheaper it'll be with only me. I mean, when we go out to dinner, you'll just have to order two pizzas instead of six. And who knows how many refills. You just convinced me.
Hiya, Tiger. You made it. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. You did real good. Thanks. Where are you going to go to now? I don't know. Hey. Hey, you're not limping anymore. Uh, there's nothing wrong with your leg? Uh-uh. You... you lost that race on purpose, didn't you? That's right. You don't mind, do you? <laughs> mind? <laughs> Why should I mind? <laughs> Ow! What you do that for? Oh, that was just for... kicks. There they go again. Those two will never get together. Oh, no. 